always loved animals. I've ridden horses my whole life. I've always wanted a career revolving around them, and I've never had a shortage of pets in my home. Yet a majority of my life, I've eaten animal products. Why? Well, because I thought that was normal. It was only recently when I fully took this normality into consideration. This began when I started riding on a farm with a variety of goats, sheep, and chickens. And as many people would, I thought they were adorable. This emotion was then replaced by despair when I considered the slaughtering room in the back of the barn. I had a hard time facing these animals, as any cute aspect of them was replaced by the suffering that they will inevitably endure. I then realized the impact I had by eating these animal products, contributing to an industry full of death and cruelty. It truly breaks my heart. And I know this is controversial, but eating animals is in the past. We must take a stand now against animal brutality. Vegetarianism includes helping this violence against animals. There are so many non-meat alternatives available that makes this switch easy. And there's even the bonus of many health benefits. It's always been so disturbing to me to see people shopping in the grocery market for cuts of steak or whole chicken and for them to be perfectly fine with it. Sure, they'll say that they feel bad for the animal, but they still move on with their day. That being said, do they really feel bad for the animals? Everyone wants to pretend that the misery that these animals face just doesn't exist. Everyone wants to turn away from the sorrow that these animals feel when they're taken away from their parents at a young age and slaughtered gruesomely. Can I blame them? No, because the truth is sickening. I'm angry. Angry at our society for pretending that we can't live life without eating animal products. Especially because we can. Vegetarians have options of endless amounts of meat replacements, non-dairy products, and alternative sources of protein. And there are even so many supplements out there in the case of deficiency. Worried about protein intake? That should be no concern due to the bountiful amount of protein found in beans, legumes, seeds, nuts, and so many more alternatives. Worried about iron, vitamin B12, or vitamin D deficiency? Well, don't, because there's an infinite number of supplements out there that you can take for the vitamins that are only found in these meat products. Our society has more than proven that we can live a well-balanced lifestyle without the slaughtering of animals. Vegetarianism comes with countless health benefits, including lower risks to cancer, and it can improve heart health. It can even help you lose weight. Medical news today says that a vegan or vegetarian diet can reduce risks to cardiovascular disease and various types of cancer. Having a plant-based lifestyle means always feeling good and knowing that the food that you eat is wholesome and guilt-free. There's no killing of innocent animals involved. I'm not expecting everyone in the world to just suddenly give up animal products, but people can contribute even the smallest amounts of support, such as giving up meat for even one day a week to stop killing and murdering helpless creatures. We have the research, we have the products, now we need the motivation to take a stand, because together, everyone can become a vegetarian, embrace a plant-based lifestyle, and stop contributing to animal violence.